Don't be scared, folks. My <laughs> resident colleague hooked up to a, a, a digital panograph called the Dane Arcadiacs. It's been sitting collecting dust, and we figured that uh, we'd pull it out of the weeds. So on it, we have um, just the panograph is we're using it to record uh, a patient's mandibular movement and then relate that to a fully adjustable articulator. It tells us whether the patient has an immediate size shift or not. That's here. You can imagine in a Because that is very important oh when it comes to, to a full mouth rehab. Because uh, immediate mandibular ladder translation, also be known as immediate size shift, uh, plays a big role in fabrication of your cuss angle and cuss height and direction of the grooves as well. So We were talking this is fairly, this would be more relative Relevant in a full mouth yes, restoration, right. fixed restoration, right. not our full mouth plastic denture rehabs. It, it, it will help to determine whether we need to have the shorter cusp height or longer cusp height. If there is a significant amount of uh, immediate mandibular ladder translation, immediate side shift, then the cusp height should be shallower, shorter to compensate for that immediate side yeah. shift because uh, otherwise you will spend a lot of time on the chair side trying to make the adjustment to compensate for that. So its main thing is to, to, to figure that one out and also to see if it, you can consistently getting a reproducibility of your jaw movement. You know, uh, it, because it shows that the jaw traces the jaw movement on the graph. And if it's pretty consistent, then you should be a uniform pattern lines. But if the patient has a TMD issues, then you're going to see the <coughs> lines everywhere. So that's w another way to find out, you know, aside from the immediate mandibular ladder translation, whether the patient has a TMD issue or not, that's a good device. The conventional pentagraph tracing is also a good device too. However, that introduces more arrows. This will instantaneously register the information onto the computer, a uh, little like a CPU there, versus the other one, Danar, uh, the D5 pentagraph tracing, more mechanical device, it introduces a lot of human errors. So the more, more, more gadgets to play with, the more errors they oh, and produce. Oh, we found that out just doing this yeah. now, the right. errors that we introduced already. Yeah by just putting it on so I mean so once again it's is that significant I think it's significant when it comes to doing a full mouth where you're increasing the vertical dimension of occlusion or restoring the vertical dimension how about this when you want to just keep them quiet <laughs> that's what I know. I, is this still rolling down yes yeah, sir it's great oh I didn't even know it was rolling <laughs> yeah no no I, I, that's awesome